Oh my word, it's so funny how little damage it's doing. Two damage by a city strike. Oh, there we go. The big guns, the big guns are out, but that's okay. The cybernetic mech is more of an annoyance. He's not a, a genuine issue for me here. I think I'll be fine. It's more just like, don't let him kill anything valid or useful. Like my artillery, I've just got to keep them safe, keep them secure. Like put him to there. That's great. That observation balloon can detach. Hang on, are you? Yeah, you're free to move, aren't you? So you can go to Kyoto. That means I can now fire and just keep that city injured. Okay, your move, cybernetic mech, your move. Oh, here we go. In Gaza, Gamut and Bandar Brunei are back on side. They will help a lot. Okay, Bandar Brunei especially just is like a nice place to trade with in the middle of the map, which is very good fun. Um, I mean, that's 21 tasty, tasty gold for me just to keep myself going. But I'm actually just focused on, on food production routes. Sorry, production, actual production routes in my capital. London is now up to 90 production, which again, considering I'm losing 45 production from immunities, I'm, it's, it's not bad. I'm, I'll take that. I was wondering why the AI weren't making peace with me, but I've still got the military emergency. I keep forgetting that. Oh, yes. Okay, they just attacked into my encampment. That was a silly move. You'll notice my Kurosawa there. That's because, you know, quite nicely, my Kurosawa was able just to, to nip in and kill an anti-aircraft gun. So my bombers can now get in a little bit more, which was good. Oh, they're really producing more giant death robots now. Like, a lot more. So maybe the peace deal, maybe I'm going to have to stop progressing as much now? I don't know, I feel like it's a bit weird, but maybe. Right, hang on, let's just look at this quickly. Lord Sucklington can get in to do this, so I think he will. I'm just trying to think of the best place to leave people. Right, hang on, Lord Sucklington, you move to there. Then this artillery, oh, nope. You can come to this towel along with the observation balloon. And now the artillery can fire over the top. Just hit the cybernetic mech a bit now. How much does a ranged attack do against it? Not much. So it's better for me to take the city right now. I'll do that. Um, although actually seeing that, that might have been a really bad move because I might actually now have the issue that they might just walk the giant death robot in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some bait to try and distract it. I'm going to leave a builder on that tile. Now hopefully the mech will go through that. Or, or we just have to take the initiative right now and kill it as it is, which is going to do some significant damage to my bombers and my fighters, but I think it might be the only way. I'm just trying to think. There's only so much anti-aircraft that they can hit in one turn is the thing, so at some point this gets a little bit easier, but okay, right, let's just do it. One attack. That is a slightly injured fighter now. Let's go for two attacks. Let's go for three attacks. So far, so good. Let's go for four attacks and the mech is dead. I've got the builder just lying in wait just while the walls are, are resurrected in that city. That's that's brilliant. That's great. And now the bombers can strike at Osaka, which has, again, weaker walls. I can get in round the back and start damaging that before they can reinforce it. Oh, I'm now winning the aid competition for Peter and Gilgamesh. I'm catching quick, even though I'm at war. With Gilgamesh, I'm still giving them enough money to get away with this. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, they're sitting their <laughs> armored giant inside Tokyo. That's okay. That's okay. We don't mind that. I'm also saving it before people sort of start to worry. I'm saving my level ups on my bombers for when I uh, specifically I get attacked by anti-air because then I can heal them quickly, which is pretty cool. My fighters. I mean, this fighter, for instance, is. I mean, that's going to just go to the front line because it's so close to a level up. I might as well kill something to get that level up. Uh, other cities, however, it's worth rebasing somewhere where it can heal. It can only heal in cities, remember. Well, Cahokia wants to be at war with me, do you? Okay. Well, city-states are much easier to kill, in theory. So, a 15 population city. Oh, for goodness sake, don't move like there. Oh, that battleship's dead. Yay. Joy. Joy to be me. Yeah, that battleship got killed. Ugh. That's so frustrating. I cannot tell you how frustrating that is. A lot frustrating. Engineer Tourism. Nope, I'm going to pass on him. Uh, oh, he was the last one. Oh, never mind then. Engineer Tourism. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. All the engineers uh, are gone now as well as all of these scientists. So we might as well 
just flip this card off. I don't need science foundations anymore. It is gone. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I just got nuked by Sumeria. Oh, no. That's not good. And oh, no, the giant death robots are now coming around the edge and attacking my artillery. Well, again, not good. Not good. Okay, these death robots are now proving to be more of a problem than I am used to. But more importantly, nobody has gone for the third science project yet. Yet, although a lot of people have already got smart materials. Oh, telecommunications, I've got to get this done quickly. Yes, I would love a nuclear emergency to be declared, but unfortunately it doesn't appear to be much I can do to force that one, so never mind. I'm going to rebase. Goodness me, as soon as we can get peace, like, I will give peace a chance. I honestly will, because this is this is proving tricky at the moment. But Asaka is now broken and destroyed, which means that my Kurosa can just swoop in from the other direction and take it. Yes. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'm just going to stick a Governor Magnus. Oh, you don't need to be in Kyoto. That's fine. And quickly now, get those walls up. Let's not hang around. Okay, from this point, I'm going to basically just defend. That's, that's my goal now, is just to defend whilst the death robots attempt to kill me. Which, you know, they're likely to. But if I can get myself into defensive locations, defensive positions, I can sit back and kind of let them attack me without much fear of damage myself. Ooh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, we're just going to have to... It wasn't really contributing much, this city. It was already flooded, but still. Hopefully that means that um, if they are going to do anything, then they're just going to keep nuking the same spot over and over and over. Sometimes the AI can get caught into doing that a little bit. Oh, the Kree have jet fighters now. Well, hey... That's fun. Um, I'm gonna pull my pull my units back a little bit now. Yeah, this is the get point of the game now, with AI on all grounds are beginning to tech up, and I'm gonna get nukes fired at me. And nukes mean war weariness because if there's one thing this game hasn't seen enough of, it's war weariness. I mean, I don't have enough of that, and I really need more. Oh, here we go. Is that another one? That's another one. Hey! I dub ba dub ba dub. Yep, it's just gonna hit the same city over and over and over and over. Oh! They just declared war on Norway though, by doing that. That's exciting. Yes, so Norway and Sumeria are now at war. <laughs> yes, I'd love to join this nuclear emergency. This might make peace with a bunch of people actually by doing that. If it goes through. We'll see if it goes through. Yes! Yes! Perfect. I am now. Uh, I'm merely passing by. I'm now at peace with Japan. That's good news. There's the moon landing. This gives me a huge culture boost, actually, which I should have looked at before picking it up because I don't know what I was culture boosting there, but never mind. Um, so who am I now in league with? Um, Russia, Vietnam, Aztecs, Scotland, Norway, and Japan. That is quite the collection. Okay, perfect. That means now um, Gilgamesh... Not so much, but the Cree I could I could make peace with. And now I can move all my troops back from a Japanese frontier. This is such a good news. Because now I can just move all my planes and we can go take some uh, Gilgamesh cities because they're, they're giant death robots. Oh, they're not as powerful. They're not as powerful at all. Oh, 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 oh. I need to just watch the irradiated area though. There is a thermos that are coming down there. Ugh. Professional sports. Yes, this is really good. Um... Hang on, what's going on here? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I was just clicking something there. So we've got the aid request. I'm winning the one with Peter. And I'm second in the one with Gilgamesh. That's going to give me four points. That's going to put me to 16 diplomacy points. I think I can win climate accords as well. Although I'm not doing anything because I, you know, I've, I've got so much CO2 output going. As soon as my cities can no longer do an aid request, I'm decommissioning the um, coal power plant. I can re-put in oil power plants later. But for now, I think it's a good thing to do. Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle, everybody. My immunities in London is now down to minus five. That means I'm only getting a minus 30% penalty. Oh, happy days. So the aim from Gilgamesh here, actually, thinking about it, is that they have a lot of their ziggurat improvements. Or ziggurats, as they're probably called. They pillage gold. So if I can... I mean, these cities are mostly useless, but if I can 
kill the walls in my city so they have no defensive attack left. I can just run units in and go, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and then use that gold to A, not go bankrupt, which is quite an amusing thing, and B, you know, pull it back later in, in other ways. So, I mean, that's quite cool. I can't get we're rid of the war weariness I've already got, right? That That is appalling. But what I can do is I'm just thinking about switching to democracy in a second. If I switch to democracy, building for sewers, I can get more immunities going. I can get better trade routes. Although communism probably is better uh, for the internal trade routes because I've got a lot of internal trade routes at the moment. That would help to just give London the most production that I can. More importantly, there's telecommunications. There is his smart material. So we're going to go for nanotech and then into that. That'll give me the third and the fourth projects. And after that point, it's just a case of going inwards. Um, Aztecs, I think military engineers are supposed to be uh, an English thing, but but sure. I mean, if you insist, it's carnage over here. The contamination's gone, but they haven't bothered to improve anything or fix anything because they know what Scotland's going to do. I love that. <laughs> oh, dear. So here we go, look, climate accords 10 turns. So something like decommission oil power plant will help. So each power plant decommissioned gives you 100 points. So if I do enough of them, I can win. It's going to be really, really tough. It's possible because everybody else is producing a lot of CO2 right now. A lot of CO2. So I can, I can get myself down there, I think. I can build the power plants back up later. But I think for now, yeah, this, this might have to be the, what I do. Japan have no more spaceports, by the way. That is probably the most successful war I could have had with them. Like, that's amazing. And the land I took from them, really good. Really, really good. Yeah, Japan should have taught you this lesson, Sumeria. It may be a terrible beast, but that's because it's terrible and is now dead. It's got nothing to do with the actual effectiveness of the unit. Dilbat is down. In come my Kurosars. We're going to go and pillage the hell out of it. I'm not actually going to take it. I don't want the city particularly. I just want to be able to pillage everything. Well, they're saying that if I could take down Uruk, that would give me a nuclear emergency, which would be quite fun. It doesn't do me anything, but it is it is quite fun. A pillage, a pillage. That's oh, it's a thousand gold already. Yes, 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 yes. This is why, this is why we're coming at you, Sumeria. I'm not going to stop until I've done my fair share of pillaging. So I have nine projects available to me, which will give me a total of 900 points. So I can get myself into like bronze position, but I physically couldn't win this competition anymore. I've left it a little late. Well, I don't have enough power plants is the thing. And I'm going around all of my like weaker cities, but they just, just don't have them. There's no option. <laughs> I can't decommission something if it doesn't exist. So, I mean, unless I build it repeatedly and then keep decommissioning it which is a possibility, but I, I'd have to keep on pushing that quite heavily. So the question is, do I bother even going for it? If I can't win it, I might as well not decommission my stuff because my stuff's pretty cool. So that put me to 16 points. So if I can pick up a couple more, then that's really, really good. Unfortunately, Norway is going to win the climate accords. That's going to put them on 17 diplomatic points. But that means, in theory, the world should vote down on them. Which is good. So this may still work for me, I think. But it, what it does mean is that I don't need to bother decommissioning my power plants. There's no point. There's no point. In the eight turns, it's going to become too difficult to do. I mean, that is the true spirit of environmentalism, is it not? If you can't win, then don't bother. <laughs> Wait, no, is that is that not what it is? <laughs> Whoops. Samiria's just finished the moon landing as well. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Vietnam has just started the Mars colony. That's not great. I can now do it myself. No one else has started it just yet. So we've got to keep an eye on Vietnam because they do have the ability to build the next one. Now, where are they building it? Out of curiosity. Let's just say out of curiosity, we wanted to know where they were building it. Here. Oh. Ooh la la. Vietnam, that is very close to the sea. That is very close to the sea. I wonder... Would a nuclear submarine be invited to this party? I'm sure it would. Oh, there's the giant death robot thing. Okay, now I can get giant death robots of my own. How lovely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going for the same place again. Okay, well, that's just like... This is just like nuke zone now. My military emergency's and finished right. though, so hopefully we'll Nothing make peace more. with the Kree. That's quite cool. And there's democracy. I don't need the fascism boost now anymore. We are 
peaceful little chickens. Let's go for New Deal. Now, the immunities from liberalism, New Deal, Republican legacy. I'm hoping we'll start to alleviate some of the war weariness. Some of it. I'm not that ex I, I don't believe it when I say it, being frank. I, I think it's going to be kind of a little pointless, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I won the aid request and... I believe I won this one as well. Yeah, it's only by 600 though. That was close. I had to really, really, really jump on that one. So now I've got 400 diplomatic favor. I'm hoping the Kree will want peace. It, Gilgamesh way or, he may also want peace, which, which may be a little bit more annoying, but I'll just have to accept it. I'm, I'm mandated to accept any peace deal like that. It's a little bit of faith. My Kurosawas are just getting to the exciting bit of all the pillaging now, which is good. We're pushing through, doing lots of cool stuff. Gilgamesh wants peace. I am mandated to accept it. Okay, these are the trade deals. Is the Kree going to ask me for peace as well? Probably. They're probably going to ask me for peace. It's, it's clever of Sumeria there because I was just going to take all of their stuff. They will bankroll me into positive gold though. No, the Kree still want war. Well, that's intriguing. Okay, sure. The Kree... Do the Kree have giant death ribbits in the same way that... Everybody else does. Difficult to say, but you just have to assume probably yes. Peace with the Kree, and they want a time machine. They're going to give me a time machine. They want to undo everything. They want to be friends again. I get it. I get it, and I accept I am a poison to this world. Aztecs, look, the poison in my land is this irradiation that Sumeria very kindly gave me, okay? I have no other poison. I promise. I promise. Right. Oh, we're down to minus three in London now. Hooray! I just need to get rid of this minus 10 war weariness and we'll be cooking on gas. How's everything going? Okay, Vietnam's really not building it fast. Feels like they started the project and then stopped it for whatever reason. Like, okay, we'll, we'll take it. We will take it. I, I'm willing just to let them sit on it for a bit and let me just do my thing. Cold War. Very nice. What am I going to do now? Levy on mass is, is useful, but public works for now is going to be very much more useful because what I'm doing is I'm going to be channeling amenities into London in a slightly different way. What I'm going to be doing is making a system of national parks down south using the planting woods, using whatever. And because uh, a national park will give me amenities in the closest four cities, London will start to get flooded by these. So. I think, I think this is a clever way of doing it. I'm pretty happy with this. What else am I going to be doing with the faith right now? You know, it, it feels like a good use of it. Oh, I lost the city. Oh, I uh, was not paying attention there. Quick, um, run away. So if I remove this and then I put some woods down there, I can build a national park in Liverpool, which means that hopefully once all this sets itself up, London should start to get a few amenities. It always takes a couple turns to load in, but it should happen pretty quickly. The world has entered the future era. I'm in a golden age, which is wonderful. I didn't win those climate accords, so um, I think Harold will now be... Did they win it? No, Boulevard won it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. okay, that's going to be a little more awkward for me. But, okay, right, well, well, we'll think about this in a second. We've got a golden age here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself, I think, sky and stars. So, in the future area, I get smart materials boosted, which I'm doing right now, predictive systems, and off-world mission. Now, off-world mission will track down where the uh, last tech is that I need. Uh, it's better than automation warfare for me right now. So off-world mission, predictive systems, smart materials. Um, smart materials is there. Okay. Oh, it's right at the end of the tech tree. It is right at the end. Oh, no. Okay, we've got to be working on my science. We've got to be working on getting everything sorted quickly. As I say, oh, no, Robert the Bruce is now working on... Uh, the nanotechnology project as well. Okay, so okay, there's, there's a few people working on the same thing. And you can see Vietnam as well. They have two lights. Two lights are turned on. So I need to convert one city's nuclear power. That'll boost nuclear fusion. Uh, boost through spy. There's a lot of ones that are not very good at doing anything. I think I'm going to go and attack Grand Columbia. Looking at their nation, they have one, two campuses. Uh, and they're building a third over there. 
but that will give me I think this one's three pillages and this one is three pillages as well so it's again it's it's not brilliant but they have pretty much no military they are very very far behind technologically I think it's going to be worth it so let's move my units to the front line we're gonna go and bother them quite badly I won't actually need too many of my units to attack here where's my giant death robot gone are you are you still around where is he hiding he was over here wasn't he he was gonna go and pillage <laughs> okay come back for a second I'm gonna keep changing my mind as to what I'm doing why have Japan suddenly got four giant death robots down here don't you be doing anything cheeky Japan okay so World Congress time, this is a very important one. And I actually have some weight here. The problem I've got is that I am now winning diplomacy. I have 16 points and that is close enough for me to win, which means it is guaranteed that I'm going to be voted down. So I will vote for myself down to claim one of those two points back. International Space Station is amazing because it gives you not only years on your exoplanet ship, but it also gives you more production towards space projects. So that's awesome. We'll vote up on that one. Uh, Montezuma lost this one before. People really don't like Montezuma this game, so minus five loyalty to him. I'm going to hope that goes through a second time. We've seen this one before. Luxury policy is always difficult to choose. It's always B. People always vote down on it. People really don't like me. And the most copies I've got of something is Silk. It could be Silk or Ivory, but I think it's normally... The, the AI normally votes for whichever one is at the bottom. But I've got six copies of that. Like, looking at that, nobody else has as many copies of anything as I do of Silk. So I'm just going to say Silk, and we'll see what happens here. Like, I mean, admittedly, you could, you could argue that, I mean, looking at this again, maybe Ivory. But I think, I think Silk, because it's normally the AI votes bottom up on this list. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It just always seems to. So we've got one vote on that, one vote on that. And then these two, I'm going to vote all of my votes on Silk, because I think that's the least likely. And then we're going to go for two on Montezuma and see what happens with this. I haven't got much back. That's a good sign. No one Silk. Montezuma. Me lose Victoria. One point. So I think that means I walk away with that from with one point. Oh, I'm on 17. And so is Harold. <sighs> Oh, 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 it's a close one. Right, 17 means if I win International Space Station, I'll get a point. That's 18. Then all I've got to do is get the point from the tech tree, and the, um, which is somewhere, and then the point from the civic tree, which, again, is somewhere. So it's possible. I don't really have the yields. A diplomatic victory is still looking very unlikely. Very unlikely. Unless somebody goes for an aid request again, in which case it's like... Everyone is game. Everyone's going on that one immediately. There's another park down there. These are all just giving London as the closest cities. I think London's getting more and more amenities from this, which is good. Colonial War. Here we go, Grand Columbia. It's, 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 I'm, I feel a bit bad, but, you know, not bad enough to not do this. So we're just going to attack your stuff now. Just going to weaken the defences, go in and do some pillaging. Scotland has just completed Launch Mars Colony. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, right. Well, we need to keep an eye on that. We need to keep an eye on that. Oh, a nuclear submarine. <gasps> I got one of those for doing a Royal Navy dockyard. Yes, 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 yes. On the way, on the way. We can go to Scotland and nuke them. Nah, ha, ha. Yes, a cheeky nuke. No one can stop the cheeky nuke. Right, that's three national parks just below London. So, oh, it's slowly getting there. The amenities are trickling in. Nobody can stop them now. Ha ha ha. That's wonderful. Right, let's, um, oh, I was, I was going to save up my gold to get a, a nuclear submarine. But actually, I don't think I need to because I've already got one, which is awesome. Do I bank on just having the one? Yeah, I think I've got to, I've got to just, I've just got to commit now. Uh, let's go for one more Ferris wheel. Oh. Problem is, all the luxuries are going to start swanning out of London, I expect now. But there's a stadium on the way. I mean, London should yeah, it should begin to get really, really, really good. Don't forget about Greece. is a very handy thing I put there ages ago as well, because I do have Miss Grace Hopper around. So once we are near the end of the tech tree, I can go bam and get two of these techs immediately. But I'm just waiting until the really high value techs at the end of the game. Military aid request. 
two diplomatic victory points. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't matter if I'm the one at war with Simon. I can still give these things. Okay, good. Right, and time until next session, 27 turns. Military aid request, 29 turns. This gives me some options. I think I can get a diplomacy victory in 30 turns, providing the game hasn't ended by then, which it might have done. Yeah, look, Scotland, they're already getting the Exoplanet Expedition set up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My word, they've got a huge nuclear submarine fleet. My solitary submarine is going to go and just see what I can do here. Because, oh no, it's going to go up to space, I can just tell. And they're going to be able to shove... I mean, Scotland clearly have completed the tech tree. Yeah, they have. So, they're going to win this really quickly if they finish that project. I've got to nuke them ASAP. There's the Mars colony. I am not the first, second, or even probably third person to get this into the sky. But now I've got it into the sky, it's all good. How's my space station stuff doing? Oh, I'm doing quite well at that, actually. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay, Exoplanet Expedition, eight turns. I've got some builders. We're going to start to rush this project now. Rush it hard. Still going through plastics. It's very good. Okay, look, there is a token pike and shot force. I like the fact that Colombia haven't actually improved their army since we last had the war. They're still chucking pike and shots and that I, I respect that. Now, have I got total war on? Yes, I do. Each pillage is worth 300 science. It's not game winning, but it'll help. Norway didn't have just such a huge, ridiculous navy. I'd be tempted to go after them as well for exactly the same reasons, but they have a huge, ridiculous navy, so it makes it a little difficult. Time for some pillaging. There's one pillage. There's two pillage. Okay, that's actually like a proper full turn's worth of science there. That's really, really good. There's a lot of improvements around here that's going to be a huge chunk of gold as well. So there's a lot of good stuff. You can see that Vietnam is building the project on that tile. And Scotland, where were they again? On this tile. They're still building the framework and there's like stuff inside. Now, how am I in comparison? Da -da 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 -da. No, I've actually built the rocket, which is good. Let's just rush that forward. And now I've got three lights. So I'm going to launch mine into space first. I mean, I might not be able to do anything with it, but they will go into space first. So that's a cool thing. I've also managed to get London up to zero amenities, even though I've still got minus 10 war weariness. Hey, that's pretty good. It's just national park spamming in the cities around it. All of this tundra is making really good national parks because I'm just sending builders and putting forests down everywhere. Like everywhere. Oh, Japan appear to have killed a uh, city. Oh, it's the city-state. Okay. Well, that's not very nice, Japan. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Rushing this through in London. There's the exoplanet expedition. I believe I am the first person to put that into the... Yeah, I am. So my countdown has started. I am traveling one light year per turn. However, there are two people building this damn thing. I need to keep my eye on them. You can see, look, this bit's lit up inside, but they're not anywhere close to doing it. I do have a giant death robot who can go bo -bo 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 and walk onto that tile um, to go and pillage it. But it's really, that's not going to be very effective. Like one giant death robot. My death robots are not powered up. They are not strong. They are a bit weak. I do have a nuclear sub, however, that's running towards this one. Again, it's all lit up. I can't let them complete it. That's the thing. If they complete it, then they've won. Because they have access to the rushing project immediately. I, I think I can... I've got a good, a good hope if I can get that far. But I just... I can't let them actually complete it. Actually, I, I remembered this, this particular one because I'm at war with Boulevard. I'm getting a huge penalty. Huge penalty, so I can't, I can't beat that. Uh, or can I? I mean, if I throw everything at it, I might be able to. Oh, let's just sod it. Let's do it. Okay, this port is now in range. Good, 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 good. If I can get my nuclear sub into a place where I've got both in range, that would be awesome. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you!